footsteps. Like, yeah, like someone running with like heavy footsteps. We're on our way to the Devon building. Uh, Mike and Sinner experienced footsteps and uh, the REM pods were going off. They said they were hugging each other. I'll look forward to their YouTube video to see that footage. Are you in here? I really want to know that there is somebody here. That I'm not here just talking to myself. And her? I don't know how I feel really weird. You feel weird? What happened? Every time we've gone in there, I swear, I hear footsteps running towards us. What? I don't know. Okay. I heard something over there. Okay. I feel very anxious. How okay. feeling? Yeah, I'm, this place makes me feel very anxious. I don't like it. I feel like very not good things happened here. No, no, no. Yep. There's somebody's running down the stairs. No. Oh my god, they're coming. Sherry and Natasha brought friends. We hear you're up running around. Where you stay the hallway? See if you can get here fastest. Which one is it? This one or is the far uh, one? The Devon? Yeah. yeah, it's the last one. The yeah. farther one. And dude, we heard like crazy running at the door floor. Like an animal or like clearly like clearly a person? What? Like clearly a person? Like honestly, yeah, there was nobody and it was like clear we got it on tape and it was really fucking loud. Like, like foot footsteps. Like yeah, like someone running with like heavy footsteps. You think it was like uh Barefoot or more shoes? Honestly, I think it was barefoot. Because oh, yeah? we recreated with our shoes and it sounded like this, but like it, more, it was more like muffled, so probably no shoes. Huh. All right. Well, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> let's see what we get. Like Corey said, we're on our way to the Devon building. Uh, Mike and Sinner experienced footsteps and uh, the REM pods were going off and they said they were hugging each other. I'll look forward to their YouTube video to see that footage. And uh, Corey and I are off there now. So hopefully we get some uh, similar action out of the Devon building. And here we are. Devon building. Bum bum bum. Oh, it's like warm in here. Under construction. This is nice, it's warm. Alright, so where do we set up? That is the question. Is there anyone in here? I got one. I got light. I don't know where the uh, basement is. Oh, I guess we go up. Oh, the stairs are down ahead. Those are the stairs that we use. So they use this for a haunted attraction from Halloween. So these are the stairs. Oh, they are, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if we should start upstairs, work our way down. Sure. So the second floor. We're coming up. Probably be colder up here.
would have been hard to hear running though. Yeah. Back to ours. Maybe we're in our room. That's a pretty big room down there. Laundry. Wonder if that's where we got the soap, the laundry. What a huge area. But this would have been bad, right? Yeah, I'm not saying anything, but I just felt like something was half my hat. Yeah? Is there anything other? Cobwebs or anything? No. I see there's a place where we can sit and set up cameras. These creepy walls, like what's the purpose of this? It's like a maze. Alcohol ruins lives. Well, I think they would have like sections of beds, right? I don't know. This is the one that is. It's a wide open there. window here, so not a good spot. That's over here. This is the building in the house. Male and female. Alright, let's try here. We won't go the other side, that be further away from people. I think we're as far away from people as we can be. Well, there's a wide open window over there. Yeah, but here. that's where the meeting is. But I think on this far side over here, see there's another open window here. A lot of big open windows. I mean, how would you hear footsteps above you? That's what I was saying. It would be hard to hear footsteps above you. The concrete floor is in the room. Ooh. This is a cool room. Is this maybe where they shower? I don't see showers. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't like the feel here. Oh, look at it. The bathtub. Yeah, here's the showers. There's a toilet behind here. And a tarp. Yeah. No, we're in here for sure. Yeah, that's the session in here. All right, we are in um, the Devon building in a very large showering area and bathroom. We know people did drown in the tubs here. And right there is a tub. Corey is going to do the Estes method and we'll try to communicate. Corey has come out with some pretty interesting responses in the past using this. And uh, we have a REM pod set up, the music box. We have the flux device inside of the bath. Maybe something's still there. And uh, yeah, hold the lights out. And see I'm here. here. I'm here. Or onion. Okay. So I'm hoping that you can talk with Corey. 
Now this being the shower room, I'm sure that some of you had some really bad experiences here. It has a really uncomfortable vibe here. It's almost like I can hear crying. Are you crying? Are you crying in here? Corey's listening to radio frequencies. The idea is that if there is somebody here, that you can speak to him through this. So go up to Corey and try to speak to him. Put your hand on the device that he's holding and try to speak to him. Maybe tell us your name. He can't hear what I'm asking. If you're here, you can go into the bathtub. You can touch the device that's in there with a blue light. Or if you're outside in the other room and you're watching, you can touch the red light on the ground to let us know that you're here and that you're with us. And if you're in the shower room, there's a music box. If you walk in front of it, Gonna play music. Aiden? I did ask for a name. Is Aiden your name? Are there children here? Are you a boy or are you a girl? I just heard like a laugh. It was nothing, no no words, just kind of laugh like a <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, that's good. Are you laughing because you want to play games? Do you want to be entertained? I'm sure that you do things to people here to make them react and you might find that amusing. Can you tell Corey how old you are? Can you tell Corey a number of how many of you are here? Jane. Okay, that has to be a boy or a girl. More. More. Try to speak as much as you can to Corey. Fire. There were some fires here. There was a girl who died by fire. Her clothes caught fire. Two other girls got burnt. But her name wasn't chained. 1960, Naomi Sensenik, age 22. She and two other girls were sunbathing, pinned a sheet above them to block the sun. A spark from the incinerator caught the sheet on fire, resulting in the sheet falling on the girls igniting their clothing. Naomi died from her burns. The two other girls survived. Can you make a noise somewhere here in the bathroom? I really want to know that there is somebody here. And that I'm not here just talking to myself. And her. 
You can enter. Or do you want us to enter? Yellow. A doctor. I'm not a doctor. Horrible. Many of the doctors here were horrible. That one. Oh. That one gave me the creeps. Yeah, I just heard a noise in the distance. I'm sure there were some good doctors here who tried to do good things. But I know there were some here who mistreated people and abused people, over medicated people. Envy? Is there still a doctor here? Is there still a doctor? Here? At Penhurst? We're gonna have to wrap this up and move on to another floor. The two men who were here before heard running. We haven't heard any running. Can you show us what they heard? A try. That's all we're asking is that you try. My heart? Can you come into the shower stall? Can you really, really show us that you're here? Not forcing you to, I'm just asking you politely. Because we both would really appreciate it. If you came in and made a loud noise, or touched the red or blue lights, or played music for us, that's really all we can ask. And if you don't want to, that's completely clear. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Well, I guess we'll move to another spot. I heard some really pretty loud stuff down the hall. None of the equipment triggered, which, you know, this has been the theme. So we are moving out of the creepy shower area. Um, nothing really happened. Heard, I heard some sounds down the hall, but I really doubt the audio would have captured that. A um, few things from Corey with the Estes, which kind of fits in a little bit. I guess. Nothing super crazy. It's not like some places where it was, you know, there wasn't even a lot of lips or blah, you know, there wasn't, yeah. it was pretty solid sweeping. When the words did come, they were, they catch you a little off guard. There's some really creepy. Uh, there is no other floor. No, we were on the top floor. Oh, we were? Yeah. Okay, well, the basement is where they say it's not here, so let's try the basement. Um, no footsteps. I don't know if Mike and Sinner said that they were uh, in the basement when they heard it, or they on the first they floor. First in the like when they walked in. Yeah, but that's why I said it's a big room, so maybe it sounded like it came from upstairs, but it might have been in that room. Like on the first floor? Yeah. 
when you come in, right? That's a huge room. Really breezy here. This is, looks like an exit. Oh, this is the basement. Oh no. This is the basement. Now we're going to the basement. I'm not gonna lie, this space freaks me out a little bit. All right, let's turn around, give everybody a view of the basement. Such high ceilings here. So can we find a place to park? Hey, Phantom written everywhere. Look at that. Look at that. It's like they were waiting for us. Yeah. Here's a table. Couple really dusty chairs. Whoa. Listen, we're down here to talk. Was this like a game area? Oh, it feels different walking here. What about that? Nip bees. Or nipples. Is it nipples? Okay, we can't go that way. But we can go this way. All right, this must be a hot spot because there's lots of toys in here and beds. Well, this is weird. Big machinery here. It's a painting. And there's wall. beds. I can't see this being like a. I can see this being like a day room, an exercise room. Look at all the paintings on the wall. Yeah, it's a, definitely a play area. Is that ball blowing coming out of here? Which ball? You see a ball rolling? The balloon. Turn your light on. It's not moving. Okay? Eh? It's not moving. No, no, was it glowing? Turn your light on. Oh? I never noticed. <laughs> it's a glowing ball. It's a glowing ball. Alright, so uh, where can we sit down? Got a yo yo hanging from a. Basketball net. We have a chair there. We have a chair there. Alright, yeah. And then you use the round club. Oh, you, you got the cap on that plate? Yeah, I got the cap. Upstairs, there's these kind of um, what do you call it? Those kind of separators. You know, the government, the dividing wall. Well, they're like little rooms. I think they, they were bunk beds, maybe. Yeah. Were they beds in? Were they rooms, or were they I more know. like treatment areas or seclusion areas? I have a feeling they were rooms, like little like these beds. I don't think these beds were originally here. From looking at the walls, this was a play area. Yeah, but I'm saying like, like the metal beds, like in those little areas is what I'm picturing, but I could be wrong. Is this where you came to have fun? Are there any kids here? We like kids. We have kids. I'm not sure who brought you the balloon here and maybe some water, but you can move this balloon. It will probably move pretty easy. you played here. Did you listen to music and dance? Did they, yeah, remember they said they brought in the 45s and let them dance? Yeah. And the, it looks like some nice paintings on the wall, some drawings. That was a nice chair. Did any of you make the paintings on the wall? Beside the orange balloon with the light in it, there's a little ball, clear ball, that makes all sorts of different colors if you move it. Is 
Does anybody whip us from the other building? From the Mayflower building? We're here just to spend some time with you. And we want to see what it was like for you when you were living here. See the space that you lived in? This place has long been closed, shut down because of what happened to the people here. What happened to you? It's not in operation anymore. I would have a hard time living here. I don't think I could go through what you went through. that upon anybody. It's really sad that it happened. It's unfortunate that it happened to you and me. We're just here to say hello. You can tell us your story. Tell us your story. Tell us about things you liked or didn't like. We don't have to explain all the things that we put out because you've seen them before. People come here to talk to you all the time. And it's up to you whether or not you interact with the people that come here. So you don't have to interact with us. We're hoping that you do. But you won't hurt our feelings if you don't. I've never heard a building so quiet. Seems to be the running theme for us. It's just it's been very, very quiet everywhere we're going. But we're men. Um, maybe the people here are afraid of men. Maybe. Uh, the attendants treated them very poorly. And a lot of them were men, yeah. It was the men that gave the beatings. I'm sure some of the women's staff did it as well, but I'm fairly confident the majority of it came from the men. We're not here as attendants. We're not guards. We're not doctors. We are visitors. We're here to visit. Do you just want to be left alone? Is it your bedtime? I think if I were still here after so many years, Yes. Is that yes to bedtime? Well, thank you so much. That is the first time somebody here has interacted with us. The first time. And we really do appreciate that. So just so you know, because you may not know, that green would mean yes, and red would mean no. And red would be the other side of that. We didn't explain that to you. But because we didn't explain that to you, it just shows that something moved in between that device and Corey. There was movement there. If it was you, it picked up on your movement, on you moving. Okay, that really cold feeling. But I think it's when you're like stationary and you sit for a while. Yeah, there's windows right above us. It might be that too. Well, thanks for at least doing it that once, but I'd love to see that again. Do we have an audience right now? 
Are there a few of you here listening to us and watching us? Wondering what we're going to say or what we're going to do? We're probably going to head off to the infirmary after this. Is it okay to go to the infirmary? Have you ever been there before? Is it a scary place? Is there a reason why you stood it? Yeah. Something bad happened? Was somebody hurt here? Did somebody hurt you? Can you let us know? If this space holds bad memories? If it does, we shouldn't be here. You can let us know by doing that green light thing again or anything else. Loud noise, yell, move something, whatever you want. If this is a place with bad memories, where you were hurt, just let us know. We'll pack it up and we'll leave this space. Are you a 
patient, a staff, or a doctor? Tell us who you are. Just go up to Corey and speak to him. Tell us the message that you have. I'm sure that you want to be heard. There's something about us that you don't like, it's okay to tell us. We don't want to be here to cause any problems. If we're making you uncomfortable, just tell us to leave. Say get out. And say it through court. Nothing's really coming through for Corey. It's so cold. <laughs> I think it's just from sitting here too long. I think that's why I'm cold. It's not necessarily a ghost or anything. I'm stupid. Not even a blip. Nothing, man. Nope. Like silence. It's like we're getting this silent thing. The Mayflower, the Devon, just silence. It's the silent tree. Whatever that was, I feel irritated against more than anything. But you don't feel it anymore? No, fine. It was the weirdest feeling. Like I got. Like, are you cold? I, I was. I'm not now. I had the, what it was like, I had goosebumps and chills everywhere, and then all of a sudden I was just like, I just, like not angry, but just. Yeah, I'm just feeling cold. Imagine. Really cold. All right. Well, I think this is it for the Devon building. We had our session here. It was quiet again. I think the theme is that it is uh, quiet. A little truck up there. Um, it seems to be quiet in every building for us. We did have the flux show us that something moved between it and Corey. Um, we thought we heard some distant voices. Maybe we have it on audio. We'll have to review and see. But I don't know. I think we're doing the infirmary next. I think so. We're going to do the infirmary in Yeah, we'll do the infirmary. Oh, shit. Is that a cat? Oh, fuck, I thought that garbage bag was a cat. It's just sitting there with me around here. Are these the stairs we came down? Yes, it's that ramp was there. But we didn't go down this way. Oh, it smells down here. What's that smell, Corey? It's almost like farm fuel. It's like manure. Like I did Molly here. Like I did Molly here. Good for you. Hello, ICU. Fuck you. Well, this is an interesting space. Was this a retired area? What's that? It was like the, all the. Uh, Phone lines and stuff were here. So it's like operational area? Yeah. I mean, who knows as we walk here if we get any shadows or EVPs? 
Well, that is creepy. Oh, there's something in there. It's a chair, a desk. Such creepy like spaces with just a single chair. A couple of chairs in here. This building actually had heat in it. Well, I guess maybe they all did, but this is the only one I noticed the heating duct. Go to the bathroom. Oh. Yeah, they don't want you going inside this bathroom. And Asha and Sherry again. Yep. We're going to the Devon building. I do like the smell of fresh wood. Yes. I don't like how dark it is. I don't know where I want to go. I feel like I'm going to be watched. I heard something. There's something going on over here. There's what? Something going on over here. Hello? Hold on. What is that? That's footsteps. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't Hello? like it. Who's in here? I don't. Where is it? Should you look behind me? That was footsteps. That was footsteps, yeah. But there's nobody. No, I don't like it. Okay, well. I'm not saying I'm don't I'm not going to, but I don't like it. I wish the other crew would come join us now, actually. I have regrets of being a duo. We can steal one of them. We can go steal one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a pin of Yeah. Like, and it felt like it was coming towards us. Yeah. Okay. That was weird. Okay. Because I'm like... Definitely footsteps. Yeah. Well, that's what he said happened exactly when Well, they he went. said they heard running upstairs. Yeah. Ours was footsteps like... Like, could have happened like near us. Where are we going? I don't know. We're gonna see if one of them wanna come with us? Yeah. Okay. Do we go back? So turned out I work better as a trio than a duo. <laughs> and why does this keep turning? Like it just it sounded like it was coming towards us. Right, this one's a lot brighter, so let's use this one. Right. Okay. We're back again. 
We mean no harm. I just, I don't, okay, I think what gets me for that is it's so deep in. person or okay, please do not terrify us we are just coming to talk I heard it again okay I am Natasha and I'm Sherry Just want to explore, maybe make some mild communication. Do you want to go up? I don't know. Well, down is there were the paintings on the wall and stuff, so they play. I know. I'm just, and I think it's the fact that trespassers. Yeah. But there's security cameras on this building. I know, I didn't, but like... Like... I don't really want to run into a physical person. Or a general person. I don't want to look up. So this is just not... Thank <laughs> you. 
look like? Seclusion room. 1977. It's insane. heavy feeling in here. Like it just gave me anxiety. Okay, we're coming back again. I feel you have been through some terrible things and I'm very truly sorry for that. We aren't here. Please don't run at us. To scare anybody. And we do not wish to be scared either. I just, I feel a lot of heaviness in here. It's very sad. 
I'm like, do you want to go in the stairwell or yeah. in the hallway? Because I feel like we've had some things in the hallway. Yeah. Um, you're shooting at my butt again. It's a good butt. Two. There it is again. Okay. We're trying to get our attention. Please. We're here. I don't like it. Okay. Please don't scare me. We hear you. We can hear your patter patter. I just... It... I'm ha I mean, we know. I hear it again behind me now. I mean, I know you're here. We appreciate you letting us know. Can you please... We appreciate you letting us know. Can you please not run at us? Okay. It is making us very, very uncomfortable. Okay. It is making us very, very uncomfortable. Let me stand here. I don't know. It is making us very uncomfortable. with the already very heavy feelings. Heavy feelings. No, no, no. Yep. There, somebody's running down the stairs. No, oh my God, they're coming. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy fuck. This is Sherry and Natasha. Once again, outside of the Devon building. Natasha, what happened? Every time we've gone in there, I swear, I hear footsteps running towards us or walking very quickly towards us. And with the already anxious feelings that I'm having, I can't, I can't do it. So it's, when we went in this last time, the first time we went in, we were at the stairwell and we could hear the footsteps running. This last time they waited until we were standing comfortably. And then as we walked down back down the hallway following the noise that was made, the footsteps ran behind us. Something does not want us in this building. It has chased us out. Twice, or three, three times? times now. I can't. Um, so interesting times at the Devon building. So we're doing a fourth Devin. attempt, but we got reinforcements. Was. Was no, footsteps? no, no yelling. No. Sherry and Natasha brought friends. We hear you're up running around. We want to come play. We've come back, we've brought some friends because we felt like it was too much for just two of us. So if you're up running around, race down the hallway, see if you can get here fastest. Bit of a rumble, but I think it's we weren't shy before. If you're not supposed to be at a bit, that's okay, you won't get in trouble. We're not supposed to be here in this late either. Technically, I mean, we're allowed to be here, but you know. I think you know what I'm saying. I hope you know what I'm saying.
Let us know you're here. Make a noise. Knock. We're really good at running towards us. in the hallway. Can you make it make a sound? If you get close, it'll make a sound. to come down that hallway, can you make that little red light light up blue and whatever other color it is? Green primarily, I think. It's, it's my flashlight. I want to see how fast we can run. Our friends wanted to come because we told them you were trying to play. I want to see who's the fastest. So here's the thing, we can't see you, so run down the hall as fast as you can, and then when you get there, we're gonna shout your name. Did you hear that noise? Oh, flashlight. Oh. Is it somebody's flashlight? Or? Yeah, I turned my off. The off. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stand over here, maybe. And then I run towards you. Uh, Primary is like, should somebody be bailing it? I don't want to do that. I mean, I'm kind of willing, but also not, so. <laughs> I mean, you guys can go together. <laughs> that is an option. You want to go down the hallway? I'm going to go back. Is that what you said? I'm going to go back. You want to go down the hallway? Yeah, because I'm wondering if, like... Because it was, like, know, we didn't come down that far. Yeah, if we're upstairs, then maybe they're still upstairs, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We heard you before. That's them talking if the mic picks that up. This red light change color? Do 
there's nobody here who's going to give you trouble for being up past bedtime. Like we literally stood here, yeah. And that first sound you heard, yeah, just got louder, 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 faster, yeah. faster, faster. Yeah, I don't know what that was. All right, if we walk back down the hall and give you some space, can you come towards that red light? Just so we know we're not losing our minds. Mind they're all coming this way. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to kind of do some space. Okay. No, it's like you're really quiet. It's a different feel. Maybe it feels safer being a bigger. Okay. Although we did come in and go right downstairs and then come back up. No, we stood here first. We stood here first, but then we went, went out, down. Came back in. Went down. Went down, went up. Went up. I did just think I heard shuffling. I thought I heard something. Mm -hmm. I heard shuffling. I heard a voice too. Oh. Where are you? Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Like a 
kids type of voice kind of moan or like but it was in this area. Is this key anywhere? Well I think that's what they call it. It makes sense it's a recreation room. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff that you can interact with here. If somebody wants to talk to us. Is there anyone down here? We keep hearing you laughing, running. Now's the time. Nothing. It's so quiet down here now. Attic. <laughs> no. We're not in the attic. I mean, if you're just hanging out and watching us, you can tell that we're not any real threat to you, so don't be afraid to come talk to us. You weren't afraid of me earlier. You can make these two devices light up. The one with the green light, you can make it go to red. And this one over here, this red light, you can make this go to green, and then we know you're here.
east. I hate this thing. <laughs> what did it say? East. Murphy. Is there a Murphy here? Amory. Come play with us. We're in your playroom. That was my stomach. Is it bedtime? Is that why nobody's around? I used to always stay at past bedtime this time. There's lots of fun toys in here. I feel like y'all are making us feel like liars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is so loud. Like, I, I don't understand. So can you please show oh, our friends? Are you no, no. Can you please show our friends that you're here because we would like them to experience what we did. I told you I want to see if you run the fastest. It's a race. Or we like sleep around the room. This is yo-yo. What's that? We can push this yo-yo. Let's make it move. Yeah. Well, you're making lines out of Sherry and Natasha. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Idiot. Has it? I told you. 
Where's my recorder? Where's the building? Oh, we'll talk. Right. <laughs> that part. Sorry. 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 Oh, okay. sorry. 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 What was that? That was uh, yeah, Natasha saying I'm back. Maybe you got some. Did we leave anything in our afternoon? I don't think so. My flashlight is like VED. Mine's almost VED. My flashlight is like VED. Mine's almost VED. Oh, I'm not supposed to be in the front of the camera, am I? Jane, here. What? <laughs> here you go. I feel bad being in the front of the camera. You should. Now it's all bum shots. Whoop, whoop. Oh, my. Doesn't help that I'm short. <laughs> Just saying. What? Is it a little faster. Did you hear that? I felt like it just got pushed. Yeah. You felt like you got pushed? Yeah. I thought you speed up. And I'm like, don't move. Yeah, I was like. I thought I just heard something. I, I like, just as her you said bag, that. I her felt, bag made a noise. Yeah, but I felt like. Anyway, I'm going crazy. I need to jump. I'm going to pause this.